Ah, I've been expecting you. Your name is Mr. Gonzales, isn't it? Okay. Well done, you're catching on already. Now let's start with the alphabet. Oh, see, see, see. You know, you're a natural at this. You've got two letters already. Now, this is the letter A. Okay. No, not K, A. Oh, C, A. No, not C, A, just A. A, C. No, not C, A, A. A. Yes, uh, very good. Now, this is the letter B. Okay. Yeah, you know what? B is a very important letter. Now, this is C. C. Very good. Now, D. D. C. K. D. C. D. K. D. C. D. D. Okay, uh, I think you've got the alphabet under control. Now you just need a few more words of common courtesy, like sorry. Okay, repeat after me. After me. No, I haven't started yet. No, I haven't started yet. Shh. Well, at least we don't have to work on the shh sound. Well, at least we don't shut up. Now repeat after me. Not yet. Uh, now, sorry. So me. That's good. Now let's employ it in a simple scenario. Okay, stand over there. We're going to walk past each other and we'll bump into each other. In this situation, saying sorry is a typical response. Okay, go. No, no, try again. What do you think you're doing? Oh. Oh. No, you don't hit. You say sorry and walk on. We'll try something different. Uh, repeat after me. After no. me. No. Can you direct me to the station? Now repeat it. D. Congratulations, Mr. Gonzalez. You've just graduated from English Speech School. Here's your diploma. So goodbye and congratulations once again. Okay? At this rate, he could make Prime Minister. Hello and welcome back to the Cricket Ground. The news here is that after Australia posted a marvellous none for 1,532 declared, England have started their run chase badly, losing four wickets for only two runs. I have Tony Gregg alongside me. Tony, what reason would you give for England's disastrous performance with the ball and their weak performance with the bat? Well, which I would have to say it's because the English team lacks that fundamental part of cricket. Talent. They have no talented players on their side, and to look at these players today just demonstrates that the English selectors really have bug all to choose from. And now for the viewers at home, we have some wonderful footage of... Grass. Rather pointless really, but not much else is happening at the moment. Lovely grass, Tony. Yes, I quite agree, Richie. As grass goes, this is definitely up there with the 
very best I've seen. very green. It's extraordinary green. If I were giving this green a rating out of 10, I would certainly give it a 9 for greenness. Wonderful green looks. Yes, yes, nice and green. It's still green. Ah, marvellous. Play is about to start. The Australian captain is just sorting out his field settings. Oh, marvellous shot. Shit captaincy from the Aussies. If he'd left his field as it was, there wouldn't have been a run in that. I agree, Richie. Shit, shit, shit captaincy. Really was quite a nice lunch today, Richie. Let's go sit the ball. Did you taste that secret ingredient in the muffins? Now what was that? That was marijuana, Tony. And bloody good marijuana it was too. The best I've had since Bill Laurie brought that bong into the commentary box last summer. Now we see the bowler in that slow motion replay that's far too bloody slow to tell what's going on. Nice action. Now we see it again in hotspot for no reason in particular. The bowler comes in. And oh, there's some buys. Bloody awful wicket keeping that. Bloody, bloody awful. The batsman's not happy about something. He's telling the bowler you can stick it up your ass, mate. Bowl the bowls, and the batsman does nothing in particular. Pretty boring. Here's that grass again, Tony. Actually, Richie, this is a completely different section of grass than we saw before, but it is still as luscious and green as the first. Even greener in some spots. Bowl is getting ready again. Here he comes, he bowls, and the batsman still does sweet FA. <laughs> Bowler starts his run up. It's a very long run up. A long, long, long run up. The batsman and the wicketkeeper have no idea what the hell is going on. Bowler starts running down his long run-up. He goes to bowl. And the batsman defends. Piss weak shot, that one. There are the stumps. And the bowler's sun hat. And some more grass. And oh, he's out! Yes, he's got him. And the umpire raises his finger. He's out. There's his reaction, he's not too happy about that one. Shame that the viewers didn't see it. Let's have another look at that bloody slow motion replay. Judging from that, I think he may have tricked the batsman with a slower ball. Yes, he plays at it, and he misses, and he is comprehensively bowled. Well bowled by the bowler. Well bowled by the bowler. Not, not very happy about that decision. The wicket keeper's in some high spirits there. Now we'll look at stump cam. Oh, that only looks slightly different. It's 
Still bold though. The new batsman comes to the crease. I see what you mean about the lack of talent, Tony. He takes his guard. New bowler to bowl. He defends. And he runs. That's suicidal. A good throw from the wicket keeper. And he's out first ball. Yes, the umpires can be no doubt about that one. Who is very pleased. The batsman's not too happy, but he only has himself to blame. He flips the Aussies the bird. Or flips them the pigeon, as Bill Laurie would say. As the new batsman takes guard. Bowler comes into bowl, and that's T. Yes, the players are all going off. The bowler has no idea what's going on. Well, the little prick had better get used to it, because that is the end of the session. Join us in half an hour after the tea break. Alright, if we just want to move that thing over there, just... Oh, no, you just ruined it. We're not doing the sketch anymore, just piss, piss off.